Dave here, how are you? How would you like to learn how to zero a router cutter? Now basically all that's saying is I will show you how to set the depth of where the router cutter is going to end up in the project. So say I want to let something 10 millimeters into a bench top like I did with my Craig clamp plate. I can show you how to do that. Now I actually showed everyone during that video. So rather than go to that video, if you don't want to watch a longer video, I'll show you now. I'll take that section out and I'll pop it in here. Stick with me. I'm going to sit the router's base plate, the base plate from the router, I'm going to sit on top of the pattern. I'm going to plunge the router until that cutter, now you'll notice that I'm not plugged in, until the tip of that cutter touches the bench top, the surface that I'm going to plunge down through. Now at the moment it's sitting up a little higher, so I'm going to release the clamp I'm going to plunge down, you hear it hitting the top, now I'm going to lock it. There we go. I've locked it and the cutter is actually touching, the end of the cutter is touching the bench top. That's called zeroing, zeroing the router down or zeroing the cutter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the turret around. Now a lot of routers have got turrets, that's the turret right there. You, it's adjustable, you can turn them around, so I've got a small one and a tall one. And this is the depth stop. Now, all different routers are going to have different styles of depth stop. Learn how to use it and life will be easy. Okay, so you can adjust the depth. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of the actual clamp plate here. Put in between the top of the turret and the depth stop. And what I've done is I've wound this depth stop down until it actually holds onto that clamp plate. That's the exact thickness that I want to plunge to. Once I'm there, then it's just a matter of plunging the router and as I do plunge, I release the clamp and then I plunge down about 4 mil because that's how I like to do. 4 mil about is the max and then I'll plunge again and it will eventually stop when it hits the turret and that will tell me that I've got the maximum depth that I'm going to or the exact depth that I need to go to and the plate will finish up flush like that in the bench. How cool is that? So there you go, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? And I'm sure everyone out there is going to be able to do that now and they'll probably rush off to the shed straight away and have a shot at it. As per normal, here's the uh, subscribe button and some social media and see you next time. Thanks for watching.